What's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome to my shop. Uh, today, I'm working on an LS engine. This is a 5.3, so if you want to be technical, it's not an LS, but I'm working on a 5.3 liter, and today we're trying to bolt a turbo 350 onto it, and I'm going to show you how. The first, the first thing you're going to want to do is get your motor cleaned up. Nobody likes to work on greasy stuff, so I use um, Dollar Tree Oven Cleaner. It cost a dollar... 30 something a can now i think but it works the best for the cheapest money so that's my trick but then what you're gonna want to do is get yourself a six liter flex plate and the reason it needs to be a six liter is because it comes with the factory spacer on it you get the extended bolts also um the last one of these that i did i had to go to the gm dealership and they were almost fifty dollars for these bolts um, they are just a hair longer. I used to have the part numbers up here. I'm not sure if I do anymore. Um, I don't. But once you get your 6 liter flex plate, you're going to want to take your torque converter and dump it upside down on a bucket to make sure it doesn't leak all over the floor. And then the holes don't exactly line up, as you can see. But all you're going to do is oval them out a little bit and then it fits absolutely just fine i've already done one like this and i actually made my holes way bigger than this because it was my first one and i was not very good at it and i didn't have any problems with it so i know that this works i know that it's not going nowhere i know that that's not going to make any bit of difference in this whole assembly so unfortunately i do not have the bolts for the tor torque converter um because i gotta get that motor and transmission out of the car and then i'll use that transmission also but i have a bolt that will work for now so i can just test and you just want to make sure that you made your hole big enough that they all screw in without any fighting any angles um because you definitely do not want to cross thread it so just like this Screw them all in. Take the time. Do it right. Don't be me on my first one. But as you can see, they all screw in just fine. It'll have a lock washer on it. And I believe the torque converter in that car has the nuts on the backside. So um, it won't even screw into the torque converter like this one. But let's get this flex plate on. All right. So when you're doing this, this one says engine side on it. But your spacer goes in. And all you're going to do is just pop it up here, get it to stay, and then look inside and try to line your holes up a little bit, like so, and a little more. It looks way more off on the camera, but you just line your holes up, and then I'm going to go ahead and take a mallet and smack it on. And then we're going to take our extended bolts with Loctite. It is a rotating part, so you wanna make sure you Loctite it. And you're just gonna Loctite these bolts up. Oh, that was way too much. You really don't need that much. And then we're just gonna put them in. Now, when I first put this on the first time, like I was saying, I had to take it off. I couldn't get the bolts to start all the way through by hand but once i put a ratchet on it they went right in and then once they started in the block it went really easy again so i'm not sure what's up with that on this one but definitely don't start them with an impact or anything just make sure they screw in nice if they don't screw in nice use your thread chaser clean everything up um it's just gonna save you in the long run that one's got a little metal shaving on it so i gotta clean that off and then i'll slam it in all right, so they are all started, and do not rely on me for torque specs because I have no idea what they are. Also, if you're a torque spec only kind of guy, don't do this. But you're going to want to just snug them up just like a tire with the little star pattern here. Once you get them all, and go back around in a circle. And now you are ready to bolt a Turbo 350 onto your LS. I will go ahead and drop the link in the description for the 
um, the VSS, the vehicle speed sensor that is required for the Turbo 350. Um, yeah, if you want to see how to LS swap a G body, stay tuned, subscribe. That is the car that this motor is going to end up in. Do this and then click the link in the description and click buy now and you're done. You can bolt up a Turbo 350 right to your LS. Uh, hopefully it helps. Uh, if not, well, sorry, but this is definitely the junkyard version of it. They make the actual flex plate and all the stuff for it. But what's the point in spending multiple hundreds of dollars when you can just use factory parts? Um, luckily for me, I had this stuff laying around. But uh, in the prior one that I did that I learned all this on, um, I just made a post on Marketplace looking for a 6.0 flywheel with a spacer. And somebody reached out to me within 20 minutes. So... People definitely have them laying around. Uh, I would go that route before I buy new. But I will catch y'all in the next one. And uh, hopefully we'll see you there.